They've been described as she-wolves with credit accounts at Oxfam, and that was just by a fan. So God knows how I've allowed myself to be talked into being caged for three minutes with Voice of the Beehive. The girls from Voice of the Beehive. The girls from Voice of the Beehive. What are a couple of privileged Californian kids like you doing, slumming it in the seedy world of pop anyway? That's a good question. <laughs> well, we came over here from California, as you may know by now. Um, because we were looking for, we wanted to make a band, and we wanted the British type guitar sound and British musicians. And London, there was a mystique about London anyway, which there is for kids from America, just like I think it's the other way around as well. So we thought we might as well start here. It's as good a place as any. And also, because it was new, new surroundings, it was kind of inspiring. You recently went on record slagging off other females in pop. I've got it, I've got it right here. Um, isn't that rather a cheap way of getting publicity? It was about two minutes of a three-hour conversation, A, eh? but, I mean, what we said was true. But it didn't go into the women that we admire, Chrissy Hine, Debbie Harry, Daniel Dex. Annie Lennox, Tracy okay, Chapman. fair enough, but it makes you sound like Sabrina, you know, that girl who's been slagging off Sam okay. Fox, doesn't what it? Was you know? What had happened is we were asked so much about the Debbie Gibson and the Tiffany. And as I recall, we weren't really slagging them off. We were saying, in fact, that Debbie Gibson does write her own songs and that she needs to be respected for that. But we get asked so much about the bimbo and the teenage girls and all that that we just for once said, let's set the record straight on how we feel, and then I think we're going to stop talking about it from now on. Because you're right, it is a... It is a what do you think they might say about you if they wanted to slag you off? I'm not bothered. They could say what we're they, total geeks on? and idiots. They'd probably and that's pick fun. on the American accent, maybe the frock thing. I don't know. But everybody's entitled to their opinion, so it's all right. Talking about frocks, would you be able to dress the way you do in America and go unmolested? Sure. Yeah, we have. We did. I mean, I get wound up here all the time, and I did so much in the States. Yeah. You've been quoted as saying that if everybody dressed like you, the world would be a better place. Well, do you like the way you look better? better? <laughs> I don't know if it would be a better place, but it might look a it little... It would have a bit more color. You think everybody ought to go around looking like Barbie dolls and no. amphetamines? No. no. What everybody we're trying to look say... like what they want. 